breakneck speeds and well, dangerous airtime. Certainly a change of pace from the courses we've seen recently. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan. And Races and Fun has brought quite a fun course for us today. Eight teams will participate in this tournament, of course going head to head each time as we narrow it down. And uh, the two going up today will guinea pig this new uh, course focused on speed, high cliffs, and uh, a big jump right at the end. Take a look at all the teams that will eventually compete on this course. And if you're not going first, the good time to watch and get a sense of what you'll be going up against later on. All-American will be team one today. And... They'll face off against the Mercedes team, both from Hot Wheels, and we'll kick it off. 16 Mercedes and the Corvette. Mercedes on the near side, Corvette on the far, as they chance the course for the first time, and it's looking pretty good for the Corvette. And here comes the jump, and it was clean for the Corvette. And that's going to be a good benchmark for hopefully what's to come. Corvette loses a little control at the end, but was able to hold the lead through. Beautiful jumps for both vehicles. Ooh, but the uh, Mercedes almost fell a little short right there. And if you miss the jump, well, there's a crocodile waiting below and probably a lost race. Mustang and Mercedes. Mercedes is bouncing down the hill on the far side there, behind a little bit on the outside line. Here comes the Mustang into the jump, and it looks clean. Mercedes follows suit, but again falling behind, and uh, All-American will pick up now two winners so far into today's tournament. Quite the hill at the beginning as well. Certainly picks up a lot of speed down the hill. Mercedes here on the near side. This time in gray. Slow again out of the gate. Oh, Mercedes team might fall short once again. Here comes the jump and it's clean for the All-American but he does switch around. And now he's going backwards. He'll finish way in front but in the wrong direction. Mercedes, well, that's three times that they'll fall short. They need that high hill for a reason, to get enough speed to push over that jump. But even the slower vehicles have been uh, handling it just fine today. Ford GT and the Mercedes-Benz. Can Mercedes pick up at least one win here? So far, not so good. Here comes Mercedes-Benz with a lead here through the first sector. Now to the jump, and Mercedes starts to get length on the 4 GT. Here comes the hairpin, and it looks pretty good. And he will straighten out to a win. 4 GT actually started in the lead, but uh, had trouble climbing that hill. Maybe things went wrong in the uh, engine. Did not have the power. Mercedes-Benz 500 in the Chevrolet Impala. Impala, ooh, fast out of the gate. Already a length ahead. Here comes the Benz, though. Trying to push it back, and they're about even. Impala, it's going to be tough on the jump. Maybe a collision. Yes! The Benz goes towards the right side, but now the Impala's backwards. He's slower, but I think he'll win here by a hood length. They do stop the camera very conveniently right as they cross the line, and I think you see the Impala take it by just a tiny bit. Very close, but the Mercedes-Benz only hangs on to one for their team. Dodge Charger and the Benz 500. Here comes the Charger, fast out of the gate. Ooh, by half a length he holds the lead. Ooh, looks bad for the Benz for the outside line. It starts to slow down quite a bit, and it's a good jump for both vehicles, but the, the Benz is going to fall just short. Didn't have time to catch up. And he's going to... Leave all that out on the track. The Benz 8 class and a Pontiac. And Pontiac for All-American. Trying to uh, quench the Benzes once again. Not looking good though for the Pontiac. Who's slow into the jump. Ooh, bounces on the back wheels right there. Oh, the Benz slows down. He's T-boned but pushed across. That was a stroke of luck right there for the Benz. Look at him around the hairpin. He starts to lose control and goes sideways, but the Pontiac could not seem to shove by. He just nudges him forward. Ford Mustang, Mercedes AMG. 
And I'm not sure if it would have been better for the Pontiac to slow down a little and maybe give time for the Mercedes-Benz to continue to spin out. Here comes the Mustang. And it looks like he's going to have it, even though he's backwards. And a good finish there. And it's really beautiful to see the cars make that jump as well. No matter who wins the airtime is nice to see. All-American with six Mercedes only holding on to two vehicles. One of them was pushed across, again, by a large amount of luck. Corvette, Mercedes-Benz rolling down. Two Benzes left on the team right now. And one of them might be cut off here. He's ahead by a few lengths, but he's on the side of the course. Grind to the outside. Wheels hang over for a second. And now he's behind. And there's no way he's going to finish first. Now it just went pear-shaped for him after the jump. And he spun right there as the All-American comes by. And now we have the Charger in the Benz. The last Benz. Can he move on? Slow out of the gate, but fast up to the turn. No, but he glitches on the side. I think the wheels hit the embankment. And I think the Ford, if he's able to just hold a win here. Oh, he goes sideways. Backwards, though. He regains speed. And he will take the win, but it was a little closer than he would have liked. Because the Benz tried a little bit too hard on the uphill climb and lost control, headed over that barrier. And well, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a failure. Mustang in the 4 GT. And now we're just cutting down on all Americans right here. And the GT here on the far side, on the near side now. And actually, good jump for both cars. GT goes sideways and backwards. Mustang also spins around. And the GT, he will get it. Mustang should have held control out of that hairpin. He was straight otherwise. What about the Mustang and the Impala? Saw this purple Mustang actually have quite the race last time. A pretty fast car. Uh, but the Impala's holding his own quite well, actually taking the lead here by a few lengths. Here comes the Mustang in the hairpin though, looking fast but loses control. And the Impala will hold through on that. And he will head to the semifinals as well. Now we'll leave four cars, all of them All-American, yeah, but they'll still fight it out to the end. Semi-finals. Ford GT and the Dodge Charger. Ford GT looks good in this last race. Same with the Charger, about neck and neck as they climb up the hill. Charger now falling behind by a couple of lengths. Here comes the GT over the jump and it looks good. And the same as the Charger. And the GT is able to hold his own through the end. There won't be any contest towards the back sector. You can name the sectors pretty easily. Once we hit that jump, I think it turns to sector two. A little bit shorter of a sector, but open lane. Corvette and the Chevrolet Impala. Impala, Corvette, Impala. By a length out of the gate, but as they climb the hill, Corvette starts to climb back into the race. Here comes three lengths between them. Impala, a nice jump for both of them. Corvette spins for a second, gains back some speed, but the Impala finally starts to break away here in the last few lengths. And there was no uh, mistakes to capitalize on there for the Corvette. And the finals. First to win two races. A shame that we don't see any of the uh, Mercedes team in here. Actually, all of them were dropped out a couple rounds ago. But uh, we'll at least get some good racing here. These cars have both been competitive today, and now it's neck and neck for both of them. The Impala knocks into the 4 GT over the jump, and that actually helps him out a little bit. He regains control, and you can see the collision right there. That helped the 4 GT quite a bit, and well, he took that to advantage. And backwards rolls across the finish line. We change lanes. 4 GT just needs one more to sweep the finals. Impala, oh, looking pretty badly actually over the jump starts to catch up though for gt losing control here comes the impala knocks him forward and across and that's the second time today that we've seen something of the sort car behind well not able to handle a blocking car very well for gt will take that and win for his team and of course 
himself. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.